Hey folks, a couple weeks ago I did part one to steel wheels. That was for side one. So now we get into side two here. And we and we kick it off side two with a single that was released during the um, just a couple of months after um, the album's release. And it's called Rock in a Hard Place. I believe I've heard this song before, maybe once. Um, to sort of the music video, if you look at that music video, if you see it, it's similar to the one hit to the body, kind of, if you will. Um, this was released on October of 89. This went to number 23. So th this was a hit for the, for the, for the group. We got Mick, Keith, and Ron, and they sound pretty good here on electric guitars here. Um, it's got a really good beat to it. It's an R&B rocker, I like to call it here. We got Chuck Lavelle on keys and Matt Clifford here. We also have the backing vocals, which, is, which has that sort of gospel feel. And those horns, too. That's pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> it's not a memorable song, but I think it's pretty good. I, I like it. You know, the guitars are pretty rocking. You know, the drums are they're pretty damn good. You know, Charlie's drumming here. I know some people say, well, you know, Charlie's drumming a little bit. You know, we started getting a little bit. You know, we started, you know, the drums sounded really, really 80s, you know. But I think, I think Charlie's playing here, I mean, well, at least the 80s, you know. I, I think he was doing, I, I think he still had it, man. He, he still had that feel. Sure, it sounds a little bit like what most people say, metronomic and, you know, samey, samey. He's, I'm sorry, he does a pretty good damn job here. And most of these songs, you know. Not that most of these songs aren't hitters, but, you know. Hit me at least, you know. Um, it's a pretty good song. I really like the Between a Rock and a Hot Place. I kind of like the feel of it, you know. Second track is Can't Be Seen. Now, here on side two, there are two Keith songs. And it's funny how in the end of Dirty Work, there was two Keith songs. And one of them ended, and of course, the ender of that album was um, Sleep Tonight. Um, <clears throat> this one here, this is the first one here on the album can't be seen um it's got a little it's got a bit of a fast paced feel but i call it a medium tempo soulful rocker because uh you know every time you know keith does a lead you know every time you hear him you know he just has that soul he always has the soul in him you know what i mean love the lead or i love the lead and electric guitars here done by of course keith and ron mick taylor not mick taylor but mick jagger wasn't here on this on this track Chuck Lavelle on organ and Woozler, you know, that sort of cheesy sounding, I guess, keyboard or whatever. <clears throat> Matt Clifford on clavinet, I believe. I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I can't barely hear it, whatever. And Louis Jarman on percussion. It's a pretty good song, you know. Uh, I just can't be seen. You know, the woo -hoo, you know, the back of vocals and all that. It's a pretty good song. I really like this. It's not bad, but I think it definitely has that 80s production. Um, it sounds a little bit like um, some of the contemporary bands of that time. Um, uh, maybe even like, you know, Sister, or uh, what's that, Night Ranger, or like Dawkin. Well, nah, uh, nah, I wouldn't really say that. Just, you know, you know what I mean, right? You know, like contemporary, like that, that's sort of late 80s contemporary groups. No, whatever. That's a good song. It's not bad. Then we got this one, third track, and it's Almost Here You Sigh. This was a single. It didn't really do that well. It only hit number 50, so it went into the top 50. Released an early 90. Um, of the ooh, 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 you know, can't do it justice. <laughs> Almost Here You Sigh. I love the echoing, too, like mixed. Vocals sound a little reverby, including the back. I love how they kind of double track Mick. Like they have him, of course he's doing the lead vocals here, but you can hear him with another with another overdub track, which is backing him. So that's kind of cool. Um, we got Keith here on beautiful classic guitar. I really love his playing here. This classical guitar that he's playing here. And Ron too, he's pretty good. He's doing like this milky sort of, you know, that, that really cheesy, it, but definitely has a little bit of that cheesy, you know, late 80s, milky, 
Yo guitar effects. We got Chuck once again on key and Matt. And of course, the, the, the same backing vocals again. Louis Jarman on percussion. And uh, Mix Brothers here, here on this song again. I don't know. I don't know if I can hear him. <clears throat> it's a pretty good song. I mean, it's not bad, but you know, nothing groundbreaking, you know, but it definitely has a little bit, you know, once again, this definitely has a little bit of that 80s production. And um, this next song here is very interesting. You know, I really love how, you know, the Stones can really dabble into like, you know, they can dabble into something else, like, you know what I mean? Um, I like to call this Middle Eastern Tribal Electronic, Electronica. Um, and it's called Continental Drift. Um, I really love the bagpipes. <laughs> um, I don't know who was credited to playing that, but um, you kind of hear it coming to the distance and coming in as it fades in. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of that feel. Mick here on keyboards. Keith's here on acoustic guitar and the ring, 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 ring. Keith Richards is providing the ring, 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 ring. You know, the bicycle sound effects that you, you, know, you hear on a bike, you know. The, the other bicycle spokes, yeah. Um, Ron is on acoustic, acoustic bass. Matt here, Matt Clifford. He's providing that really, you know, the, the electronic music at that time. You know, yeah, that, that particular sound of that time in, you know, 89, well into the early 90s, that sort of techno sort of, you know, um, I, I guess I wrote in here, percussion programming, that sort of sound. You got a lot of people, Sarah, Lisa, Bernard, all on backing vocals. We also have here Sonia Morgan and Tessa Niles on backing vocals. Um, I believe one of these two sung on a whole bunch a whole bunch of backing um was a backup singer for a whole bunch of people in the 80s um I, you know just a whole bunch of people um yeah i saw her name just a list of just everyone under the sun um this is about five minutes but i really kind of love i kind of like this song it's kind of interesting um and then by the th like maybe before the three minute mark it starts going really like the the fat it starts getting it starts getting a little bit more fast paced this is a pretty interesting song yeah but but despite the little cheesy despite the cheesy background of the you know the, the effects and all that like you know that sort of electronica sound it's a pretty good damn song i actually kind of like it then we get the next one here and it's called break the spell um, it's kind of, it's kind of got a, a cool groove, a cool little, it feels like this is a bit of a cool kind of like, um, kind of a hidden track on here. I call it here a slow bluesy groover or a bit of a, you know, upbeat kind of, you know, hopping kind of bluesy track here. Make on electric guitar and that really cool sparse harmonica. Really love it. I love how like that bluesy harmonica, you can play that bluesy harmonica, it's freaking great. You know, it's basically the, you know, your typical blues chords here. Nothing groundbreaking. We got Keith on electric. Ron's here on bass and no bill, unfortunately. We got Dobro. It's kind of cool. I was hearing that there. Uh, Matt Clifford once again on keys. This is kind of a cool song. You know, it's about three minutes. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's, but it's pretty good. And then we get the last song on here. It's called Slipping Away. This is once again a Keith, Keith song here. He's playing electric as well, and Ron. Uh, Mick here on backing vocals, Bill's back, and he plays great on this song. Chuck Lavelle on organ and piano. Matt Clifford on electric piano. And of course, everyone here backing vocals and some brass here. Um, it sounds, I think Keith sounds a little bit like Buddy Holly a little bit on this song. Which is kind of weird, you know what I mean? Like, you ever hear like a Buddy Holly, maybe like ballad or something? I know, I know he, um, um, not that I'm not that I'm aware of his albums, but I think he had done slower songs, and it sounds like something that Buddy Holly would do or something, or at least like, or at least would kick Keith's vocal approach a little bit. Sounds like him. Um, it's a pretty good song. 
not great, but you know. And uh, that's it, folks. That's my review of Steel Wheels. Do I think this, do you think, or do, do, do I, or at least I think that, you know, this is one of their great um, albums of the eight. I mean, no, not really. Um, you know, like I mentioned, you know, I really love Tattoo You. That's my favorite album from the Stones of the 80s. But, you know, I think this album's pretty good. You know, some people put it down and some people don't really like it and, you know. But, you know, I, I understand because I definitely hear the, you know, sameness, the the same formulaic and the same nature of pretty much all their stuff that they were kind of doing here, you know, where they're basically trying to get back to, you know, what they were sounding like and, you know, but yeah, you know, whatever. So we enter into the 90s. They have two albums in the 90s. My next one, my next album review by the Stones will be from 94, Voodoo Lounge, which I know most people either love or hate. But I think I've heard a lot of people say they don't like it, but though people, there are Stones fans that actually like this album. They actually like Voodoo Lounge. And some people actually like Steel Wheels, too. But, um, and they get switched to the Virgin record label. And so, um, that'll be my next review. Okay, folks, till then, take care. Bye-bye.